One of the pillars in the game from really early on was this notion of owning the battlefield. And a lot of that came from this idea that Lincoln's a Vietnam vet and he has special training and skills and tactical knowledge that a normal mobster wouldn't. And that really gives him the edge when he's going up against waves of uh, mobsters and his training allows him to overcome those odds. And we really tried to incorporate that into gameplay in a number of different ways. One, we support stalking in the game. So, you know, you can go through and you can stalk your enemies. You can put yourself in the right position to take down an enemy. We support a wide variety of weapons. So everything from classic uh, machine gun all the way to Vietnam era weapons, our version of some of the weapons that they were using over in Vietnam, handguns that you might expect a mobster to use all the way to more military feeling stuff. Lincoln also gains the ability to put on a flak vest and he gains grenades and other things that uh, the mob initially at least doesn't have access to. We have a robust cover system, you know, it's a open world game, but we tried to make sure that there was cover available everywhere and take cover behind cars and you can take cover behind pretty much anything in the environment that looks like it should be cover. And then the way Lincoln moves through the environment, he's a little bit more nimble than mobsters. Um, he's a little bit more effective at moving through combat. Um, and then finally, he's got not just his arsenal of, of ranged weapons, but he also has his fists and his knife. And one of my favorite parts of the game are the, the brutal takedowns that you can do on mobsters. You get them stunned or you catch them by surprise. Uh, and many times, if you pull one of those off, it will have kind of a ripple effect and the guys around will get stunned for a moment and that gives you an opening to take down another guy. So uh, we tried to give the player a number of tools to make him feel like he really does own the battlefield.